Twas a month after Christmas, and all through the fifth floor walk up, not a creature was stirring, except the radiator hissing and uh, maybe a cockroach or two. You know what, scrap that. I got COVID over Christmas. Here is the story. Oh, and there might be a little dance number in this. Um, you'll see. stores. It's called, um, uh, oh shit, what's it called? It's my favorite store. Huh? Yesterday's news. Oh my god, that's what it's called. So yeah, I have a touch of something, uh, feeling under the weather, but let me introduce you to Cat's Couch Potato Headquarters officially show you what we got here the biggest game changer of my 30s an electric blanket put it on your lap put it over your shoulders put it on your feet back's hurting put it on your back phone close by to um, check up on your loved ones go on social media get off social media right away we also have our roku remote for lots and lots of binge watching I watched a lot of movies today. I watched Maestro, Saltburn. Oh, I rewatched Sleepless in Seattle and I was crying like a baby. I also really want to watch the one that they reference all the time in there. Um, what's it called? Affair to, ugh, an Affair to Remember. Is this entertaining? This lady with a stuffy nose trying to remember things. <laughs> Please watch something else of value. Anyway, when we last talked, I mentioned putting myself out there more and trying to find community and be part of the world. And I have to say, I take it back. I take it back. It's too cold outside. It's just too cold and it's dark at 4.30 p.m. We're just, uh, we're not trying right now. That's on pause and you know, I'm kidding, but you really only have time to do a couple things before the sun goes down and then all bets are off. Making this YouTube thing, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I have so much respect for anyone who creates anything ever. It is so much work to make something, <laughs> just to make something, let alone make something good. I feel like I watch movies differently now and I watch other people's videos so differently and I'm just super amazed that anything, anyone gets anything done ever. I feel like I'm a person who has a lot of creative ideas but not a lot of follow through or I'll have a spark of an idea, but I don't have enough to make it a thing. And I'm learning. Um, I, I'm trying to learn. And no one gets better without trying. So this is us trying. I am not a bad person. You're a total mess. Okay. Right now we're watching The Family Stone, which is kind of an unhinged movie, but in a good way. Dermot Mulroody is with Sarah Jessica Parker. She calls her sister in for backup. Claire Danes. And then he has a thing for Claire Danes. And who's the other guy? Luke Wilson. And Luke Wilson has a thing for Sarah Jessica Parker. So there's kind of a, a sibling swap. This is your sister's fiance. What are you doing? Uh, I carried this home five blocks. Uh, 
It was a lot. And then I got a rash on my arm. <laughs> Sorry. The pine needle's poking me. But, ow. Do you hear that? It makes a sound. It makes a sound that's just like a cockroach. Imagine hearing that at like 2 a.m. Yeah, just a little. Let's see if I can get closer and you can hear it. I mean, it's, it's a mess. That is a mess. Maybe I could clean it up with the cinnamon broom I got at Trader Joe's. It's lost all its cinnamon scent. It's not doing an entirely bad job. I just need a dustpan. Okay, we'll do this later. Oh, you know you let a mess in here. It's hot toddy time. Oh, I have eggnog. Oh my god. This is completely solidified. Jesus. I think this stuff is too real. As we wait for the water to boil, it's time to ponder existence. Oh, I guess that was it. Hold on. Toddy time! Okay. We've got the chamomile tea. Being sick sucks. This isn't honey, but it is a sweetener. I believe it's made from almonds. I forget what it's called. We've got Mr. Jim Bean here. I used this to spike some of my eggnog the other day. The eggnog that is now solidified. In goes Mr. Jim Bean. Whoop, whoop, that's enough. I don't have a lemon. I think a lemon goes in this. I don't have one. Sometimes life does not give you lemons. Nice. Damn. That's good shit. Look at this face. I lost it. So here's the predicament. We are out of steam. We are congested. We are pretty much the grandparents from Willy Wonka, but we live alone and the dishes need to be done. Nobody's gonna do them but me. I don't have a dish fairy who comes and cleans them up overnight. If I leave my kitchen like this overnight, there's a really good chance I'm gonna have a cockroach. So we're gonna clean. And I'm gonna let you in on a little tradition I have. Come closer. It's called Disco Dish Night. It's called Disco Dish Night. What we do is we plug this in, we close the blinds so the neighbors don't see us. We put on some good music and we have ourselves a little party while we do the dishes. I have to unplug the toaster. We limited the bird outlets in here. Okay, that's There we go. Gotta save your precious hands. Food scraps, they all go in the compost. Pretty 
guys. That's most of them done. Just a couple mug flush that I forgot about. And uh, that's my uh, breakfast bowl. The thing with shredded wheat is if you don't rinse it out right away, it becomes cement. So I'm gonna let that one soak for a bit. And, uh, and that's the end of disco dish night. It's nice to wake up to a clean sink, even if it feels impossible, like you don't have the energy. I don't know. It's just something fun and it really helps me. Uh, I just have a good time and life's dull little tasks like dishes that never, never end. I don't do this every night, but it's fun when you're down. I think we're going to get ready for bed. Good night. Every time I want to do a video, there's some sort of traffic jam outside my window. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. This is, <sighs> all right. If it's not the traffic, it's my radiator hissing over here or the construction happening across the street. So <laughs> apologies in advance. So while we have literally five seconds, um, where were we? Well, the COVID got worse before it got better. I spent Christmas day feeling nauseous, lying on the bathroom floor, but that's okay. I learned there is no cure for nausea like a good heist movie because it's you know, fast enough to distract you from your misery. So I watched both Thomas Crown affairs back to back. Worked like a charm. What else? We prioritized our self care. We rejoiced in having our sense of smell returned and celebrated accordingly. By New Year's Eve, I tested negative, fully recovered, and we popped some champagne and listened to Paul Inca sing as the ball dropped. It was a good way to close out the year. Everything set. What else happened? Oh, the wreath. Oh my God, the wreath. Oh, the wreath situation. It had to come down. A bigger branch fell off in the middle of the night, almost scared me to death. It was so loud. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's gotta go. But by this point, it was so dry, it practically disintegrated as I took it off the wall. And getting it out of my apartment required a full-on operation. I had to remove every branch from the wire frame. There were pine needles everywhere. I filled two garbage bags full of them. But order was restored. Decorating for the holidays is fun, but I think I like undecorating just a little bit more. You know, having all my stuff go back to normal. <sighs> That's the real joy. Oh, and I've been editing this video. And I know I complained a bit about how YouTube is hard earlier. Making this YouTube thing, it's... <sighs> it's hard. <laughs> and it is. Doing creative things on your own watch is hard, but it's also really fun. The reason this is taking so long is because I'm just having fun and discovering new things. I, I know this is basic filmmaking 101, but putting a sequence of clips together and adding music underneath and it gives it this whole new meaning, it's just magical. I, I feel like I'm doing magic tricks or something. You know, even little fun effects you can do, like adding the, the circle thing, you know? Like that, that's cool, that's fun. But in all seriousness, the, the real challenge is telling an engaging story. You know, you can have all the fun you want with gear and cool effects, but can you tell a story? <sighs> and, and that's what I want to learn. So yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't know, we've been cooped up this whole episode. Why don't I take you outside? A little walk in the park? Some fresh air? No? Enough talking about it, let's just do it. You coming? Oh, f it started to rain. Okay, let's go. It's really cold. Come here, you gotta look at this. Oh my god. It's a masterpiece. They did good. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> if I lose my hands, I won't be able to finish editing this video, so I think we should go inside now. And that was how I spent my holiday. 
since then, I posted my first video and I'm just so overwhelmed by the response. I was actually at the dentist getting my cavity filled when all the comments started rolling in and I was just felt like I was walking on a cloud for a minute there and just so happy to know that what I said resonated with so many of you and that you're also inspired to, you know, continue your creative journey as well. And I'll admit I was a little nervous to post this next video because it's a little sillier and a little looser. But then I realized it's actually the perfect second video because it is good to break the spell of the first thing and move on to the next. And as for what's next, I, I, I don't really know that yet. I'm still figuring it out as I go along and discovering what it is I want to make. But what I do know is I am so excited to continue to create, to connect, to make the ordinary beautiful, or just be reminded that it already was. And hey, if we happen to stumble upon something great, all the better, but- This is going terribly. It's the sheer joy of making the thing that is the goal for me. <laughs> this is my snow mound. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I forgot to close the book. I think we could do better than that. Mm, not quite.